I know you guys can't see it. Hold on. Oh, there it goes! Oh, it just took its sweet time. Probably because the resolution's wrong. It's, like, really confused. Uh. There we go. Let me know how the volume is. It should be good. We should be good. And let's start a new game. Let's also get my mouse out of here. It's good. Sweet. So I remember when the uh, Kickstarter for this was launched. Um, and I was really into the music. Um, I didn't end up backing it because I also never back Kickstarters. Um, so I want barely visible on here. Let's see, I'm a pretty high gamma pro gamer. Let's do that. Minimalistic mode, you can disable your spirit's companion commentary if you want a more subtle abstract experience. If you choose to do so, you should pay close attention to what's happening as you might find it difficult to follow the story. Uh, I'll leave the I'll leave that on. That's fine. You're lurking orc. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, I know you're going to play this in a, in a little bit. Also, the resolution still seems off. I think I think I know why. What did I move? Ah, I see what I did. I know what I did. And that's probably why I was having trouble with the uh oh yeah that's just wrong okay let's just go with 1980 by Twenty twenty by ten eighty. Apply. That's what you guys see, anyways. Ha 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 ha. Got it. Yeah. All right. I'm getting better at fixing things on the fly. The water will lead us, the fire will free us, and the light will guide us home. That's your way into the City of Light. After you close your eyes for the very last time, you will rise into the light like a spark from a fire. All will be welcomed who follow the Yanren ways faithfully. The others, they are thrown back into this world as wild beasts. The lost embers. Hey, come back here. Kalani! Excuse me, would you maybe help me with... Oh, oh hey you. I, I, I just need someone to... Oh my god, was that a wombat? Is there no one here that understands me? Aw, fox friend. Good morning. 
Uh, would, would you mind helping me with something? Oh, look at me! Oh, I'm so cute! Oh, I can jump? Talk to the glowy thing. Oh, thank you. It's in a cave just a bit downhill from here. Go ahead, I'll follow you. I've been stuck here for ages. You're the first one that's willing to help. Would you believe that? I'm supposed to be in the City of Light. Have you heard of that? It's where all the true Yanran spirits are supposed to go after... after their death. But I've been trapped here by this barrier for so long. I don't know why. I think there's something left for me to do here. And I'm pretty sure that Amulet has something to do with that. Hmm. Interesting. So I demoed this at PAX. Um... And it definitely didn't have any narration or anything. I can kind of see why they have it be an option to turn it off. Just based on the advertising that I saw from the game. I'm going to leave it on. But I'm, I'm unsure how I feel about it yet. We'll see. The movement feels pretty good. It's pretty. Very pretty. Here. That's it. Amulet, I'm coming. D do you see the amulet? It almost looks like wax. Can you get it out? The doggo oh, wants you. a bone. Let me see. I haven't read the Yanran script in ages. What does it say? Kalani? No, that, that wasn't my name. Maybe this isn't my body after all. But I, I do remember that name. What? It, it's you. The amulet. That's Kalani. Wolf, are you? It's time you reach the light you long for. This lost ember needs your help. My help? Let this aid you on your way. I've got a sick hairdo now. That's cool. But it sounds like a little bit like we're marching Wolf. towards death. Was, like voluntarily, just like we're gonna go to heaven. Were, were you Kalani in, in a former life? But that has to mean you were banned from the City of Light. You're the Lost Ember. I'm the lost Maybe I can help you reach the City of Light if you'd help me. A true Yanran spirit and a lost ember, side by side. All right. Amulet one out of 77. All right, collectible mode, let's go. I just remember bits and pieces. But I'm sure together we can figure out the way. I love my howl. We have to get you across if we're going to get anywhere together. Let me yeah. see if I can find some way to help you. I was going to jump. Oh! 
I didn't find anything but these two. Wolf, your mark, look. What's happening? Wolf? How did you do that? <laughs> I'm a wombat now. <laughs> You're a soul wanderer. Oh, it's so cute. What you just did. Oh my god, that's oh my god, I can roll. Oh, yes. <laughs> spoke of those who had one foot in the light. And yeah. One foot in the light. Here we Maybe go. <laughs> to be back from the city of light. Try and hit. Different directions from time to time. Some animals have completely pointless little things they can do, like eating berries or diving for food. Wait. We'll have to find out more about you. Come Lunch. on then. Oh, this one just goes to sleep. <laughs> munch, 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 munch. It's kind of funny that they point out that it's pointless. They're like, don't worry about eating, I guess. Don't stress about it. Oh, no, no, don't fall. All right, well, I guess the penalty for falling is pretty low. That mark on your side. What is it? Does it mean something? I don't know, man. I suppose we'll find out. How do I turn back? Oh, there we go. It's like I'm ready to be a fox again. Can you crouch? Oh, don't make me go back. All right, we're going back. This is just a long way to bring a wombat. Sir. Yeah, there. Oh, it's just our little spirit. Keep going. Keep going. This is so cute. We're coming closer to the barrier that's keeping me here. I haven't been able to leave this place for ages. Maybe you can find a way through. What are you talking about, little... little light orb? Do you see that? Is that a fire? Mm -hmm. Let, let's check it out. Yeah, we're gonna go look. Is it an amulet? What is that? I, th I think we're seeing the past. Wolf, are you doing this? Yeah, yes, do you see the amulets? They're clearly Yamrana. Our people. Children of the Emperor. Where do you think they were going? Wait, that, that's Kalani. Wolf, that, that's her. I mean, I mean you again. Oh, are we the villain? So you were a bandit? 
I suppose that this has to have something to do with why you're not in the City of Light. If I can find out more about you, I'm sure I can help you out of here. What? How did that happen? Was that the memory? Wolf, do you think that means I can leave? Come on, let's try it. <laughs> you did it. I'm free? Wolf, I'm free. Now I can show you the way to the City of Light. Okay, Come works on. for me. I am going to turn on subtitles. Audio? It wouldn't be in video. Accessibility. Use open dyslexic font for subtitles? Hell yeah. But where are the subtitles? Show subtitles. I just didn't see it. Cool. Apply. I really like that games have started to incorporate um, different text options that are dyslexic friendly. That is really cool to see, especially on like text heavy games. This game is obviously not text heavy, but um, a game I was playing recently... What's this? I found a mushroom! 1 out of 28. Uh, I was playing a Monsters Expedition, which is a little puzzly game. And then it has little text rewards of little story bits. And um, it was the first game I've ever seen that has a dyslexic friendly font. And it made like such a huge difference for me trying to uh, trying to read it. Focus, LB. Aww. Excuse me. Hello! Oh, they're so cute! I'm curious what happens if you go off the... the written path. Is that just... I think that's just where we came from. Yeah, and this is where we came out. Alright, so it just loops around. I didn't actually mean to switch, but yeah, I think we still need to be a wombat. Excuse me! I'm just gonna borrow you for a moment. I hope you don't mind, Mr. Wombat. I like the colors in this game. The, the color choices were very good. Like, they're very bold colors, but it, it works. It could look cartoony, but I, I don't think that it does, or, or not in a bad way. Oh, we got another memory. That's the bandits again. Where are they going? I have a hunch as to where this is going. That, like, we need to correct some wrongdoing that we did when we were in a human form. Before our spirit can be free.
What are they doing? They just dump it in the river. Mm, I was wondering if there'd be a little hidden cave over there, but no. <gasps> oh my god, we get to be a bird! Yes! This is this is really all I was wanting with this game. Yeah! Why would I want to be anything other than a duck? This little red path is is nice. Look, the barrier that held me back. It didn't disappear. It only grew larger. Oh. I can't pass until we break it, Wolf. How did we do it before? Oh, they were using the river to transport the barrels they stole. But where to? Up, up, up. Come on, duck. Yeah. It doesn't seem like I can really go up. It's just kind of like maintain or go slowly down. Wolf, come back here. What? I must have missed something. Oh, it's another mushroom. Oh my god, I'm a baby duck. Ducklings, they're all stuck. What's wrong, guys? I'm trying to see if these ones- Oh! If they, like, do anything cute. That's- that's- that's pretty cute. So I guess we want to find wherever those barrels end up. I definitely also feel like I'm missing some of those amulets just because there's so many of them. And I just haven't seen any yet, which makes me feel like I'm really missing something. But... Uh, no, I don't want to be a wombat. Where could it be? Oh, they were using the river to transport the barrels this time. Yeah, we heard that. Where to? Oh, okay, here we go. We just lost the trail. Aha, there's the, the little fire plume. Oh no, oh no, all right. Oh no! Respawn me too close to the edge. All right, I need a duck. 
have a job for you. Excuse me. Mid-flight. <laughs> Duck didn't even know what hit him. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Duck. The bandit's camp. Did you live back here? Seems like you were their leader. Huh? We were important. It's cool. that someone sick her name on her amulet it's Wayla See? We weren't all bad. You did care for her. I'm sure there's a way for you to redeem yourself. <laughs> you weren't a total I monster. That. I think that did it, Wolf. Come on, let's check the barrier. It told me to look for more partial memories. Is there anything else over here while we're here? Ugh! More ducks. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, play. I don't want to play memory again. Never mind. Here we go. Crash. <laughs> you did it again. Oh, fuck, we're hummingbird. Ah. See, this is what I wanted. I wanted to be able to go up and down, but also, we're so little. Wolf, your memory of the past. I think I know why I'm still here. I'm your spirit guide to guide you to the city of light. They must have sent my that you spirit had good guide in too. I'm sure of it. That's why I'm not in the city of light myself yet. I'm sure the right way is here somewhere. Now we're going in a waterfall. Ah, oh, I have to return to be well. Okay. There wasn't like a memory to explore or anything. All right.
pretty little village. Rice fields always look really cool. I keep getting weird graphic blips, which I don't think is my computer. Seems weird. I'm so glad I found you. This would be unbearable without you by my side. I feel the same. <sighs> Look at our village. Lifeless and sick. We can't just watch any longer. We need to do something. A village. Come on, I'm sure we can learn a lot down here. That's cute. It seems like they're more of a a couple. Just curious if there's anything we could change to. found a relic oh okay so amulets it's not all amulets it's relics I get it Turpoy. It was the most precious. <laughs> Your father looks really proud. Atevo. You know, these amulets were what made us full members of the Amran Society. They were deeply tied to our identity and gave us our name. Yeah, I guess I can see how the story would be very difficult to follow without this little light telling us what's going on. Haven't heard of this game. Looks super story-based. Yeah, so it's it's interesting. When I launched the game, it um, gave me the option to turn off this little light's voice. And so it's like a more explorative, uh, less narrative type of game. Um... But I feel like that would take away so much of it. I, I don't know. I can see why they made it an option, but what's cool about this game is you see these little ducks. I can possess them. And now I'm a duck. And I can go wherever I want. Um. Woo! So this game was on Kickstarter for a while. Detroit become duck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But how have you been? I finally finished Outer Wilds. And I'm very sad about it. I, um, I saw all the different endings that I could find. Which were all pretty anticlimactic. Except for the ones that we saw on my last stream. Thank you. 
But yeah, I don't know. I wanted to check this out and have a little bit of a, uh, a game break but before I go straight into, um... The Empress soldiers are taking everything. Into a Subnautica. to begin with. That's cruel. <laughs> Congrats on never being able to play Outer Wilds again. Now I'm in the club of telling everybody about Outer Wilds and getting them to stream it so that I can watch them play it for the first time. Oh no! Goodbye! <laughs> Poor little wombat. The real end game. <laughs> yep. I'm excited for that DLC, though. That's going to be a good time. Alright, Fox, where are we going? Where can we get to? Do I need to get another duck? Oh, duck! Oh, wait, there's a thing here to do. Duck, don't, don't go! God damn it, duck! What's this duck thinking? How, how do we go up? Here we go. <laughs> Respects to that little guy. Yeah. Oh, we got a hammer. Alright. That's... That's fine. I guess we'll go over to this one, because this one seems like the most annoying to get to, and I think we're at the right height to get there. Here's open. Cool. Looks like a pestilence was spreading. Hmm. This is gonna be some, like, you appeared to be the villain, but actually there was more layers to it than that. Everyone was sad and depressed. Because it's an indie game, and it must be. It is the way. I need a duck. I need a new duck. It is, like, a little bit comical, the indie game trends that are happening right now. Like, it's very difficult to find an indie game that doesn't deal with mental me mental health or depression specifically um, and like car accidents it just it's just so common how do I get out of here wolf please I need a critter Uh, I'm not sure how to leave my little island here. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have abandoned the duck. I thought it would just stick around. Okay. Indie games. Puzzles, shoot 'em ups and... Oh, I get it. It's a metaphor. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That's pretty dead on.
Okay, but actually, how do you lived here when you were a child? How how do I leave though? I think I'm stuck. Am I am I stuck here? I can't go down here. can't go off any of these other ways. Did, did, did we like soft lock the game by just flying here? All right, um, restart checkpoint, I guess. That seems like a very easy thing to do. Because I'm pretty sure you have to switch out of the... No! What? Excuse me? Where's the duck? I hear it. Oh, fuck. Come back here. You Come, come back. Come back. What the fuck? Restart. Restarting checkpoint. We're getting that duck. Yes! Oh, good. I was gonna be so mad if that didn't work. Ooh, all right. Back on some solid ground. We can get get a new story beat. I think it's hurt. Aw, cow. So the bandits have been stealing food, caring for their... And they just left it here to die. Caring for their sick. Um... The... Our, our main person's significant other was sick or injured and we were caring for them at least it wasn't alone poor guy that's what we got so far is, is that a soul spirit wolf look its spirit rises to the city of light if only I could just do that as well You've got a, a job to farm do. Farm animal getting into the city of light. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, you're. We doesn't yeah. seem unfair to you. Is it? You're supposed to be our guide. This guy just doesn't like his job. I really hope you'll be allowed into the city of light as well, Wolf. It's the most magnificent place. Endless feasts with the mightiest of the Amrana. Colossal monuments built out of pure light and a temple reaching higher than the sun. I don't know, man. If I was like, if I had this chain shape shifting ability to just like warp into other animals, I think I would take that over like death. <laughs> oh my god, moles. We're gonna be a mole next. This is so cute. I think I'm being overly critical of the story. When I really should just be focusing on... What did it say? How to dig? Ah! Wait, what? find hidden gems. I found a mushroom.
Oh my god, oh my god, there's so many collectibles. Holy crap. Munch. No, I want to munch on it. Yeah. Unfinished business. Maybe he's still here because he needs to get over... A guilt that's linked to you? Yeah, that's what I think. That's my guess, is that, like, they have to have to fix some wrongdoings that happened along the way while trying to take care of their own. stolen bread we stole that bread oh is that whaler our bay is still sick stealing can be hard <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot of effort Is not doing well. You look so weak. You need to eat. Eat what? There's not enough for everyone. It's not right. We need to stop them. Nothing's gonna change if we're just sitting here. Not this way. You need to teach them. They'll understand, please. Understand? They don't understand anything. Are you hearing yourself? Violence will only lead to more violence. I can't believe you're not with me in this. Fine, I'll do it without your support then. I mean, if you're literally starving, extreme measures are kind of necessary. But, like, what maybe, like, here? talk first. Try to make it looks some like friends. Burnt down a long time ago. Wolf, is, is this. Is this your home? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Do you, do you know what happened? Sometimes there's extra little story beats. If you use the little sniffing highlight action. I guess we're not supposed to go that way. We'll go down and around. Oh, too far. Oh, come on. I thought that I could just go down on this side, but maybe... Oh yeah, here we go. Charge. Oh my god, wombats. They are so cute. Munch. I just really like that they roll. Ah! That <laughs> startled me. I didn't expect it to break. <laughs> oh, I jump scare so easy. I've been thinking about playing um, a horror game come uh, October or something. 
play some spooky game. Or like maybe if I reach a milestone with the stream, I'll play something, something scary. But I don't know if I could take it. Like I might just have a heart attack. All right, well, I conveniently see the next animal that we need, so I'm gonna go swap to a duck. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm being too critical of the game, but I'm definitely seeing, like, a trend where it's, like, I never can be just the animal that I think would be well-fitting for a situation it's like you need to be that animal to progress and so it kind of takes away some of the fun of choosing what animal i want to be because i always have to be a specific one I th i'm thinking that'll change a little bit once i get a little bit further um Oh, we got a mushroom. There's nothing left here. No, nope. what are you talking about? There's a mushroom. You can't give me points for getting something and then tell me that there's nothing there. Oh, 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 well. Poor duck. We're going down. It, it could be. It could be that this is still a tutorial area. I just know the game is very short. The game is only about four hours and we're an hour in. So I think that's why I'm kind of like expecting that this is the, the game. Uh, it, it'll probably open up a lot more once we're like more than halfway. But um, I think it was, it was just something I was noticing. It might not even be a bad thing. Like, once we get to an area where you have all the choices in the world, I'll have an idea of what I can do with each of those animals, you know? Oh, we got some dead crops. Overcropping the fields and overhunting the forests led to pestilence and hunger taking over daily life. More and more people got sick. Get some more food. Aw. That's cool. I was wondering if the, the wolf did anything specific and he, like, takes a nap. He'll, like, lie down. It's very cute. Any mushrooms? What's down here? That's so weird when the fog comes in. Oh, what? Oh, it's just like 
Uh, this is this is one of those fake doors. It's neat though. It's interesting when you see how the game is built a little bit. Popping out. Uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out, Cronark. Have a great night. Always. You too. The Empress soldiers were taking everything these people had. Didn't he see the people were starving? Ceramic pot as we smash the rest of them. I think this is the way that we haven't gone yet. Sorry, I forgot that you can't go through there. We have to find the, uh... Why do we have these guys here? Oh, we got some secrets. Dig into tunnel. Oh, cool. This is cute. I like this. Another little secret. Pretty dark in here. Let's just look for another way out. Just look for some light. That's always a good sign. So there being a wombat there makes me think that I should change to being a wombat. Maybe that one just got stuck there. kind of fun breaking the pots because nothing like changes or happens it's like they just like when i bump into them I, there's no resistance at all they just crumble the satisfying little click oh 
looks like that's the way out. Anything in here? Before we go. I guess I haven't been using my little ability very much. What's this? Hell yeah. We're out. Almost feel their anger. Fists closed tight, teeth clenched. Look, it's Tevo, your father. He's a Sinchi guard. They were the strongest of the Yamrana, protectors of the realm. Those were the people you were up against. You didn't have a chance. Please don't make me do this, Kalani. Your Emperor takes our food. Your soldiers beat us down. We won't take it anymore. We will rise up. What are you doing? You didn't leave me any choice. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we came here looking for war, so... rough day. It's a bad time. Save the amulet. D did you remember something? Was it him? He burnt down your house, didn't he? What about Wayla? Was she? Oh, Wolf, I'm I'm so sorry. I know you loved her. I do think it's a little bit funny that the this light orb knows our name, knows that it's like, what is it, Cadence, Candace, something like that. Um, but still just calls us Wolf. <laughs> After seeing all this, Wolf, 
I don't think you were a bad person for stealing from the Emperor's men. You were suffering and lost everything. Would you really have been cast out of the City of Light for this? There has to be more to your story. And onward we go to learn the rest. I'm not sure why these uh, light up. Maybe it just means that I can tunnel under them. Like, I bet I can't tunnel under this. Oh, no, I can. I don't know why those ones are orange. I can't go under that one. But this one's fair game. Oh, there we go. Knocks it down. There we go. It just didn't didn't work before. that oh no oh I was stuck on the environment did I need to do this for some reason I guess it gets us across here but I don't know if that's intentional is that even where we're going I guess it is I guess that's the direction we're going. Oh, I thought I just, like, did something silly. Let's see, anything up here? Any more mushrooms? So far, I think the hummingbirds are my favorite. They're like, they're super fast, but also you can adjust the height with them so you can fly up. And that's just, that just feels so good compared to the other animals. Oh, but look at that. See, we needed to be a hummingbird again to get across here. Oh, are we still controlling? I thought it got to a cutscene. Oh, no! Oh! Up! I, it doesn't feel like I'm controlling this at all. <laughs> I'm just mashing A. Maybe I'm not supposed to. There we go. I think I'm just not supposed to mash it. Whew. Thanks, bud. Chapter 3, The Calm Before the Storm. I 
tree is pretty. Look at the water. It used to be filled with that algae and scum. It doesn't look very healthy to drink. Let's head downstream. Head downstream, all right. It's so fast. Oh, I can be a fish? Oh, this is cool. Oh! Can it do anything else special? say the movement of every animal that I've tried has been very fun. Like, each one is very satisfying in its own way. Um, at first I was like, why aren't there a whole bunch of different types of birds? And you can, like, be a different type of bird. And now I'm, like, kind of realizing it'll be really hard to implement that and have it be good, I think. Unless it's just a bunch of different skins. So I'm starting to see why they did things. Swim. Amazing. I think we're on the old road to Kilotazi, our capital city. Drowned, reshaped by water and time, but still here. Anything in here? A mushroom, an underwater mushroom. I'm definitely not going to get all these mushrooms. I've already missed a bunch. That's okay, though. If I like the game enough, maybe I'll go back and try to find everything. go up. Let's go check out the city. It must be close by now. Yes. Okay, good. Perfect. Perfect. Is it really just gonna stay there? 
Oh, I feel kind of bad. Alright. Back into the water with you. Alright. <laughs> feel a little bit less awful. The Whispering Towers. People used to call them that because somewhere in the fog you always heard someone cry. Mourn their lost ones. This was a sacred burial place, you see. Uh. My name would be carved into these stones as well. If I'd been granted the funeral ritual, I would already be in the City of Light then. With the raid? Pyro, hello! Give me just a moment, let me give you a shout out. I have to tab. Alright, there we go. How was your stream? What were you working on? You, wait, you were doing uh, Jackbox games, right? Because it's Thursday. On Thursday, you do Jackbox? The pestilence seemed to have taken its toll. The water to carry the spirit on its journey. The fire to burn away the lies and mistakes of a past life. To free the true spirit within. Also, hey, Dragonflower. Hey, Ferris. Two underscores? Two underscores. Oh, I see. I know what you're talking about. I see what you mean. Thank you. I missed that. I will fix that. There we go. Jackbox Party Games. That looks right. Yeah, no problem. Of course. I remember one time I raided someone and um, for some reason they, they just kept head. getting the spelling of my name That's wrong and they tried like this. three times to get it. <laughs> I was like, at that point, just highlight it. <laughs> I should do that more often. You're gonna head out for bed? Gotta, gotta get up in eight hours? Um, yeah, yeah, no, have a great night. Thank you so much for coming along with the raid. I didn't know she was in the house. Have a good night. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Everything that happens from here is your fault. So this game is very interesting. I um Let me hold on. Let me let me think of a better word to use than interesting. Um my hope is that this game will not fall into the many common tropes of indie games of using, like, sadness um, and depression as being, like, a uh, storytelling tool uh, where they kind of, like, lean on it too much. And it seems like this is developing out a story... And I'm, I'm just hoping it's not going to be too predictable. But we'll see. What's cool about this game is the mechanics. Uh, everything feels really fluid. And let me see if I can find... There's something up here. Okay. Um, here we go. So we got a little wombat here. We can take control of the wombat. And now we're a wombat and we can roll around. It's so cute. Seems like you started I can't to stand it. it. I um, what you're up to. 
How's my night been? My night's been pretty good. Yeah, it's so stupid cute, right? And it's like, if if we find a little uh, piece of fruit, he'll munch on the fruit. And it like, the game flat out tells you this doesn't do anything, but it's cute. I'm like, yes. Thank you. Um, but how's my night been? Uh, it's been good. So yesterday, or two days ago, actually, I got my second dose and I was so fucking sick. Uh, totally worth it. Absolutely worth it. Get the vaccine. Um, super important. But, uh, oh my god, I was so sick. Uh, and so today I just, like, really wanted to finish up Outer Wilds, which we did do. Um, saw all the, all the end game content, which probably wasn't worth loading the game back up for, to be honest. But, um, it was nice to see it, I suppose. But yeah, I just kind of wanted a nice little chill game before, uh, I dive into, um, Subnautica this weekend. Because I'm very excited for that, but also, that's going to be another really heavy exploration game. I love the little rolling. No, don't go off the edge. There we go. Yeah. Just a nice little peaceful game. I want to turn back into my wolf. Have a little more control. Nope, nothing in there. All right. Harvey. Oh, Harvey wants out. All right. First, I'm gonna switch to the fish. I really like the fish. They're really cute. Am I stuck? Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Fish, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wonder how they got that slap sound. Oh, no. We're so stuck. Oh, God. What's... I don't even know what's happening now. Oh, there's hummingbirds. Can we go into a hummingbird, please? Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, we're gonna go back into the fish. Alright, hummingbird. Perfect. I'm gonna let Harvey out. One moment. He was being a very patient boy. Just abandoning the fish there. I know, I couldn't get it off. I mean, I wanted it to go back into the water. But it's like stuck on the wall. Poor guy. Yeah, earlier I like flung the fish out of the water onto the beach so I could change into a different animal and I just felt bad so I went and put him back. Can I push it with a hummingbird? We can go try. Hydrate! Oh my god, this poor fucking fish. <laughs> I just clip right through it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Oh, I am moving it a little bit. But I can't go past this bush. And if I go back into the water, I can't change into another hummingbird. I'm sorry. We have to leave him. Oh, uh, hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Sorry, fish. We will remember you. Look at these sewers. Can you believe how people built them? It's pretty impressive. Oh, there's a mushroom, though. We're going back. Alright. wonder if we can go through there. Probably not. I don't think so. Can I not go up any further? Yeah, this game is really cute. Oh, I have to go this way. Okay. Maybe not. There's a mushroom. So, my thinking is that I just have to go out, but, but I, I plateau. It won't let me go any higher. So I guess we'll go back down a bit until we find something. Here, maybe? Is this another mushroom? No, this is just a regular mushroom. This isn't a collectible mushroom. Well, we can't... Can't go in there. What if my hunch about here was correct? Aha, yeah, I can go behind the waterfall. All right. I'm hoping this game opens up a little bit more because right now it's very linear. Um, that one's just for decoration, yeah. Um, so one thing I was noticing That's earlier... Chapter 4. Our home. Our pride. Wolf, I think I lived here. Maybe we can find out more about me here as well. Kilo Tazi. It still is pretty impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Thousands of people used to live in this place. Can you believe that? There has to be loads to learn here. Let's look around a bit. Okay, cool. I don't like to talk over the dialogue if I don't have to. Um, but yeah, something I was noticing earlier is that every time an animal is introduced, um, or not even introduced, but but just just placed. Anytime I walk up and I see a flock of ducks, I'm like, oh, I need to be a duck for the next part. It's never like... Oh, maybe if I'm a duck, I can get to this secret place that I can, like, find, and then I can progress with a different animal. It's, like, always, like, you're presented with the animal that you need to continue the game. Which just doesn't feel super organic, I guess. It'd be nice if there was a little bit of variation, or, or uh, just, like, uh, a little bit more choice about what I play as. But that might be me just being too picky. Or setting expectations that are different than what the game is offering me. I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way, and I'm worried I won't be able to get back up. Oh, well. Alright.
We got ducks. Or is it fish? So we'll see if the game proves me wrong right now. But, so here's my guess, right? I bet that two... Oh, no, I want to get the... There we go. I bet that to progress I need to go through here. Oh, that was weird. Seeing all the tunnels clip. So yeah, this is very clearly where I was supposed to go. So it's like, I came to this new area, I immediately saw fish, and then I just knew I had to be a fish to continue. But I guess that works if, it, if it's truly just a narrative experience and you're just kind of along for the ride. It's less puzzly. You don't have to, like, figure out what to do or what animal you need. It takes a little bit of that burden off the player, but I also think that the player is, is generally going to figure stuff like that out. I don't know. Small observation. I don't have any firm opinions about it yet. <laughs> yeah, that clipping. Yeah, Pyro. Splish, splash. There we go. Alright, cool. We saved this fish. This huge pillar. That looks like something. Let's find a way to the top. Hold up, there's a collectible over here first. Duck. So now we've got a little bit of a choice of animals. We've got the duck, we got the fish, we got the wolf. Oh, so many clips. new fish friend. I hope I'll be able to get a fish through here. Gonna heat up some dinner, be back in a bit. Sounds good. Let us know what you're having. Heading to bed. Have a great night. Thanks so much for stopping in with the raid. Also, I think I got proved wrong because here was just an area with a collectible that I didn't need to go to, but I needed to be a fish to get there. And that's kind of what I want to see. I want to like see more areas that I can explore without immediately progressing the story. So that's that's nice. Let's see. That's our border. So how are we getting... There, can we climb up on this next ledge? I don't think so. See, I'm, I'm just betting we have to be a duck. I got an achievement windy up here. 
we got a wombat. We got moles, okay. No, no, I want to still be the mole. There we go. Hey, Brooke. How are you? We are playing an extremely cute game. Oh my god, I am the worm. Gonna head to bed? Yeah, have a great night, Orc. Sleep well. I don't know what I what I do as this creature. <laughs> Oh, wow, I'm surprised that it didn't, uh, have me reset there. Alright, I need a duck. What a nice little peaceful game. Also, just trying to work out how to progress a little bit. Because I have to go up. What am I doing in the game? So, I... My uh, little wolf here is a lost soul that was supposed to um, have, have moved on from this life. And so we're being guided by this little... This little orb. This little light source um and we can with our spirit we can like take over these other little critters and so right now we're kind of like um finding little bits of our past uh from when we were human and trying to like piece together what went wrong so that we couldn't move on to the to the next life or to to the the city of light is i think what they're what they call it here we go oh there's a collectible down here yeah, it's very pretty. Oh, play memory again. We've been here. Oh, I remember that little area. That was where it's like, we didn't need to be a fish. We could be something else. Yeah, so it. whenever you get to like a new area, you usually need to switch to a new animal to, um, uh, to get through whatever obstacle is in your path. Chakui Raimi. I remember. It was a huge feast and celebration. The music and dance would go on through the whole night. Okay. We got a part two. Let's go back to our wolf form. Wait, wait. 
I guess not everybody was celebrating. I don't remember ever seeing this side of the festival. People begging for food while the rest of us feast. Yeah. It's not fair. Yeah, so w what we think is happening is that um, our character, uh, who, who was who was a human of this tribe, was one of the leaders of the tribe, like, had some wrongdoing, some sort of, like, unfinished business. Let's go up. And we have to, like, resolve it, or resolve the guilt or something. Before we can move onward. Mushrooms. There are so many mushrooms in this game. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm finding them pretty often. And then there's just so many more. Were these the supplies you stole? You were giving it to the poorest of the poor. Where are we going next, little light? I think we're going down. Oh. Oh no, we have this resolved, so we can go up now. Can we get there from here? I guess we can check around here really quick. Nope. You're back! You have some Daya Alfredo mac and cheese! Oh, man. Um, I want some. Added some sautéed mushrooms, onions, garlic, and chicken sausage. Oh, God. So good. I picked up some of that mac and cheese the last time I went to the store. And I am very excited to make it. Here we go. Fresh. Any hidden, hidden things? Surprisingly good. Yeah, it's like, it really does scratch that itch of cheese. The armadillos! Yeah, they're really cute. They're very slow, though. But they are useful. Look at us go! Ugh. There we go. I don't know why I would ever, ever be the worm. That seemed like a huge mistake. What's that? A legendary armadillo. Are we sure it's not a shiny armadillo? It looks more like a shiny. Garlic! Garlic with the raid! How? Oh my gosh. Let me... Give you a shout out. Pyro, I know you're eating, so I got you.
Hell yeah. How was Little Nightmares? I am dying to watch the VOD. Also, hey, Seb. Who else came in that I didn't see? Paladin, hello. Okay, all right, back to the game, back to the game, okay. Yeah, Pyro, you um, you offered a little while ago when I was starting um, Outer Wilds, I asked for a couple of extra mods and uh, and you volunteered. Eh, please, let me out. Oh, and thank you for the, uh, thank you for the host. I'm surprised that that, that was so delayed. That felt really delayed from stream elements. <laughs> oh no, you're fine, Pyro. I, honestly, I only really needed um, the extra mod help during Outer Wilds, I think, because it was such an easy game to... Um, uh, to, to be spoiled on. So it was like I needed an extra set of eyes, but but now it's it's pretty manageable. Garlic dismantled the challenging foe. Ooh. That's so mysterious. It'll be funnier later. <laughs> so... I think I just went in a big circle. I'm going back down. The game is, um, pretty good. I, um, there's a couple of things so far that I really, really like, and a couple of things that I'm a little on the fence about. It's super cute. I, I love being able to just morph into another animal and do other stuff, like... Was I- did I just need to get the- oh, maybe I had to go this way. Um. <laughs> like Animorphs, but with the Gorilla Warfare. <laughs> Animorphs was wild. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Okay. I'm getting sidetracked. I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, I like the little legendary shiny armadillo. So this just took us in a big circle to like get the special critter, I think. So how do I progress? Where am I trying to get to? That looks like something I missed. Superior quality of wiggle, to be sure. Look at him go! Alright. Alright, so back here for a moment. Oh no. It looks like I kind of have to go back to where I came from a little bit. And I should be able to get through that. But I guess not. No, no, god damn it. There we go. Good wolf. But we've definitely been there. Why is this lighting up so much? Maybe this is just an indicator. Paladin gonna go grab some food? Yeah, have a great night. Enjoy your dinner. Thanks for coming in with the rain. 
So I came in here, but there was nothing really to do. I didn't see any hidden passageways. Oh. Alright, fish. Where are we going? But yeah, uh, garlic, tell, tell me about little nightmares. Oh, oh no. Oh god. I'm sorry. Sorry, fish. Hey, little light orb, would you give me some direction? That'd be nice. I would appreciate it. A tempting stick. So... How did I get where I am currently? But yeah, why use the door when I can use a window? Yeah. Uh, pretty fun so far, just been um, small puzzles and escaping baddies, but it's pretty spooky. It's definitely sweating majority of the stream. Cool. I feel like that's the, the right kind of spooky game, is you don't want one that's, like, overwhelming, but um, just a little bit of, of spook. Just enough. Like, because I don't like jump scares. I don't like being legitimately terrified. Little Nightmares is the kind of horror game that you enjoy. Yeah, I feel that way too. I've, I haven't played it myself, but I've seen it. Um, because I've played games like Outlast, and like, I'd get an hour into it and just be like, this isn't fun. This isn't, this isn't a good time for me. And I guess I'm just gonna go back to where I was because I was getting story progress, so I'm just gonna go back to, go back here. No, 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 god. Alright, it's fine. Okay. Staircase. Alright, yeah, so we came down here. We came down here. We went up here, and then there wasn't really anywhere to go. Was my recollection. Nice step up in your road to being able to play horror games. I getcha. Yeah, I don't think that, like, true horror games are ever going to be on my list. But every now and again, I might, like, dabble and try something. We can't go up here. Oh, what about this way? Did I just miss this last time? Or did I come up here? No, I've been here. Because I remember the tunnel, and then it just brings us around, and then we go through the big loop. Oh, no, I mean that, like, Outlast was too, too much for me. Like, I would never play Outlast in its entirety. Like, I played the first hour and just, like, hated it. It wasn't fun.
All right, what is going on? What is my goal? I feel like I'm supposed to keep moving up. This little wiggle. Oh, hey, we got some ducks. All right, so I love the ducks. The ducks are just awesome. They're amazing and I love them. Oh, well, you can't go that way. They put a lot of doors in this game that, that you can't, uh, can't actually go anywhere. Bioshock was, uh, a horror game when you started? Yeah. Yeah, so I am a, uh, a lost spirit that, um, is trying to move on to the City of Light, which is, I, I guess, just, a uh, heaven the this game's interpretation of heaven oh come on little duck you got this yeah oh yeah he's so cute but yeah this little orb of light is guiding us to the the beyond But I'm definitely feeling a little bit stumped right now. Everything up to this point has been extremely linear. This is the first area that it's like, you figure it out. Which is honestly why I'm like a little bit confused about this. Yeah, so I can go into the tunnel here. And usually tunnels lead somewhere new, but in this case, I think it just brings me around. Unless there's, like, something to do with this worm. But I'll be honest, I don't like it. Yeah, like, this just felt like a little easter egg to get my, uh, legendary guy. But it didn't really take me anywhere useful. And ordinarily, I'm going for those, uh, Those little beams of smoke, they're like the next story beat. And I definitely feel like I'm missing something. Let's see, where do what direction do these guys point to? Were these the supplies you stole? You were giving it to the poorest of the poor. What about this way? I don't think I've gone this way. Am I Robin Hood? Um, yeah, pretty much. The, the opening of the game was that we were stealing from other communities, uh, their food and stuff, and then it was like, oh, but you have sick people. So you're, you're feeding your sick and your poor. And so it's like, maybe we're trying to resolve our guilt before we can move on. I don't know, I'm sus. I'm pretty sus. Gotta run? Yeah, have a great night. Enjoy your food. Thanks so much for the raid. It's nice to see you in my chat again. It's been so long. Is 
Is this how we got here? I think this is how we got to this whole area. Yeah, it is. They're high-fiving! Oh, that's really cute. That's really cute. <laughs> Let's see. I want to figure this out. I feel like there's something off because I always have a, a literal guide telling me like where to go. And there hasn't been any indication for a long while of where to go. Oh no, the fish. Poor guy. What do you what'd you do that for? So we came up here. Reminds you of Morrowind when you have absolutely no guide but written instructions. <laughs> yeah. The Chakui Raimi. I remember. It was a huge feast and celebration. The music and dance would go on through the whole night. But they weren't all celebrating. Yep. We did this. We did this other little one. Because they're begging for food. People begging for food while the rest of us feast. It's not fair. Yep. Oh, duck. Is there anywhere we can fly to? Some of them are woohooing. So this is what's confusing to me, is that I need to go up. Can I go under this rock? Oh, god damn it. You could just go under this rock. Alright, that's fine. I should have been more suspicious of there being the armadillos right there. But, alright, that's fine. We just heavily explored that area. It's like intentional, like a cat. Like they never make a mistake. Just, hmm. That's what we're meant to do. We're just looking around, just making sure we didn't miss anything. Taking our time. in cages? What? Keeping wild animals in cages like that seems cruel. Yeah. Looks like you were thinking the same. We let them out. We're very much reinforcing that our human person was not a bad person. We got a relic. Oh, that's nice that doesn't make you go all the way back around. That'd be kind of punishing. Not very, but a little. so pretty. Mm. 
This game is very pretty. It doesn't look like you're supposed to be there. We're sneaking in to steal more food, maybe? That's my guess. What are you doing? If someone would have seen you, this was our holy temple. So something I think is very interesting, I, I mentioned this earlier, but I um, think we've got some, some new people. Um, when I launched the game, um, oh, whoops. When I launched the game, uh, it gave me the option to disable the narration by our little orb spirit. But the game was like, you'll get a more free roaming experience, but also the story won't make any sense. Like, it flat out says it. I was like, I guess we'll leave it on. I thought it was really strange that it gave me the choice. Um, I think it's cool. Like, any option I think is valid, you know? Like, if, they're, if there's a choice that they can give to the player, I think that's good. Um, but I was also just, like, definitely confused. I was like, it, it made me, like, suspicious of the narration for some reason. All right, how do we how do we get up this? Unless we're just cuz this is how we came in, isn't it? Maybe it's not. No, I guess it's not. The Yawar Arena. The strongest of the Yanrana would fight against wild beasts. If they survived, they were allowed to join the Sinchi Guard. I remember watching the fights in here. It was truly spectacular, I can tell you. Oh, a nine with the stretch. Oh, I needed that. Oh. My arm still hurts from the, uh, my second shot. Oh, ow, ow. No, it's good though. It's a good pain. Nine, how are you doing? Oof. I think that'll be, my arm will be fully healed tomorrow. I think by then I'll be fully back to normal. Oh. A wolf muzzle? That's so sad. All the games I play are sad. Outer Wilds wasn't sad. I mean, I guess I... I don't know. Why can't I go up? Eh. Eh. Jump! You can do it! Yes! Um, I think that the... The true question is, why are all indie games sad? And my best guess is that sadness is the easiest emotion to portray in a game to to empathize with as an audience sadness is like the easiest one to sympathize um because they're made by people who are sad all game devs indie game devs are sad <laughs> um but yeah i don't know i feel like having a lot of sad games is almost like uh, an easy baseline to set when you're writing a story. And maybe that's not fair of me to assume. 
but that's the impression that I get. But I, I love, I just love this. I'm on a roll. You kind of want uh, games with a bit more than somberness. Uh, indie devs are indie depression. <laughs> I have to pay a little bit of attention to where I'm going so I don't go in circles. Um, sorrow and misery are compelling. Uh, you can start sad and build up to something wonderful. I think that's true. I definitely think that's true. I'm not saying that, um, that like, sadness or misery are, are things that, like, should be avoided when writing stories. Um, it's just become a bit of a trope that all indie games tend to touch on them. Like, similar with, like, car accidents. Like, there's a car accident in so many indie games. Um. This was our you sanctuary. Oh. The golden sun behind the Temple of Light. It depicts the natural order of the world. Humankind lifted to the sky by animals and nature, kneeling only before their great temple. Isn't it magnificent? I remember engraving this into my turpoy dagger as a boy. <laughs> How I cherished that dagger. Just found out that wombats are adorable. They're so cute. Look at his little face. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Um, a version of that is mainstream, but usually uh, more about killing bad guys. Oh, and the murder truck from anime infiltrate into games too. Yeah, yeah, did. Also my new friend. I, I want to find... Um, a uh, uh, a little bit of fruit because this guy is super cute when he eats fruit. <laughs> you want a Batman game where you can pay off student loans with your massive wealth? Isn't that just Animal Crossing? Look for another way out. Oh, you mean other people's student loans. Gotcha. Yeah, you'd have to, like, go to other people's islands and pay off their bridge loans. Is that you with your people? Gotcha. Making some havoc. And you were caught. Bruce Wayne inherits his wealth. Villagers uh, farm the hell out of the earth for this it. This place was holy. This was the, the highest form of treason. And we destroyed that it. Why you were cast out of the city of light? I mean, that would. I'm sure of it. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe. I have a feeling it's going to be something else, but we'll see. Um. Chantai. 
she was the one who brought together all Yanran tribes to one people. She was worshipped by many, feared by even more. A Chowder. She made Kilotasi what it was back then. The most magnificent city in all the world. She built this temple and gathered gold and other treasures from all around the world. Avidos. He was the one who laid the foundation of Kilotasi. Killed by his adversaries in the process. Karpak. He was the strongest Yanrana who ever lived. No one had ever beaten him in a fight. No one but a terrible plague that killed half of the Yanran and population at the time. These four were the greatest emperors that ever lived. Without them, none of this would have been possible. Gotcha. That's... I liked that it gave a little bit of more information about each of them. Um, you don't help others much in Animal Crossing because there aren't problems in Animal Crossing. Yeah. This game has a very Peruvian feel. Peruvian? Peruvian. OG Animal Crossing was all about helping other people in town. This new Animal Crossing bores me. Yeah, I can see that. I haven't played the other ones. Um, but I can definitely see why. Which way did we come in? I don't think we came in this way. I don't remember the water. This, this indigenous guy has a British accent. You tell it how it is. Yeah, the hummingbird is my favorite because you can you have the most freedom of movement of anything. You can really just fly around. Oh shit, we got another mushroom. Oh, so fast. Yeah, got that mushroom. This game is just so lovely. We got war. You want a union organizing video oh, game? Oh no. What is happening? What what is happening? What are you talking about? Riots everywhere. Oh, yeah, we we saw that already. This is your doing. Hey, little light, you're supposed to guide me to the light city. I you, you weren't supposed to be here for my for judgment. Oh. Yeah, I'm dropping some frames. Is it... Is it any better now? Or is it still bad? 